As we said, a group of Cape Town residents marched to Parliament earlier this morning calling for government to get, act against gender-based violence. This follows uh, the matter of uh, UCT first-year student Wine Nemkhechana. The 19-year-old body's uh, old body was found in Kailich on the Cape Flats last Monday after she went missing for more than a week. A 42-year-old post office employee has confessed to her mother. Yesterday on the show, we spoke to the Interim Steering Committee on Gender-Based Violence and Femicide Co-Chairperson in the Presidency Advocate Brenda Madumi Sepajibo, who said that women have done all they could to address the schedule of, of gender-based violence, and now it is up to men to take up this fight. All right, so we'll get you that clip a little later on on Advocate Bajibo. Uh, let's uh, now uh, look into that issue and take it a bit further as to what is it that men are willing to do really to uh, look into the scourge of gender-based violence. And from our studios in Pretoria, we have uh, Temba Masango. Temba is uh, the Secretary General of the hashtag Not In My Name campaign. Good afternoon to you, Temba. Thank you so much for joining us here on SA Today. Good afternoon, Palisa. Thank you so much for having me. Tamba, the women have spoken, the women have marched, uh, they've worn, they are all black with their dukes. Uh, seminars and conferences, a summit was held in November last year looking into this issue. And all they say now is, we do not know what to do anymore. It is up to men to take up this fight. Palisa, uh, first of all, I want to say as a man in South Africa today, I am hanging my head in shame uh, because we as men have waged a war against uh, our women in this country. Uh, a war which is unnecessary, a war which is sickening. And it is 100% true that men need to be the ones who are taking the collective responsibility of standing up and saying that enough is enough. We are not going to allow this to happen in our name. We need to make sure that we turn the tides uh, of this pandemic that is happening currently in our country. We cannot afford to have our sisters to be afraid to walk within their own country. You will recall that it was Thomas Sankara who said to us that a nation cannot claim to be liberated unless their women are liberated. They must be free to walk anywhere in the streets of their nation. They must be free to be uh, partake in any uh, activity that is happening in their country. Mm -hmm. So we are really, really, really uh, in a pandemic and we are saying to men, let us not use any form of excuse. Let us take the responsibility and change this. We change this in our homes. We change this in the bar rooms where we gather. We change this at the soccer pitches where we gather. We change this uh, by the speech that we, that we, we use uh, and understanding that uh, the mindset of thinking that women uh, belong to you, they are to be objectified, is completely wrong because those are seeds that perpetrators uh, have in them and grow and for them to become uh, rapists and murderers. Yeah. So we uh, need to, 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 to take responsibility. We've seen a number of guys and men really, uh, you know, coming through on social media, uh, pledging their support uh, on, 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 on uh, the scourge of uh, gender-based violence. But the question really is, what needs to, ha to happen? How do we change the mentality of the perpetrators? Because men can talk for as much as they want, but if perpetrators mindsets have not been changed, I suppose we'll still have this discussion again next, w next week. 100%. So that it, it starts by forward-thinking men on going out door to door, house to house, conscientizing uh, other men, making them realize that, listen, you do not have to express your anger in a violent manner. Uh, and you understand that in this day and age, having women that are advancing, having women that are uh, challenging your, your mindset and broadening your space does not mean that you are now emasculated and you do not have to act out angrily and violently just because you feel threatened. You are a man and a man is someone 
who is there to, to protect, as someone who is there to see that this person is a counterpart and we are human beings together at first. We are not uh, uh, superior beings uh, as if uh, we've got a right uh, over women. And uh, you know, a woman is not something like a cell phone which you own. Mm. And uh, you know, uh, culture, religion, and, and even society uh, has played a role in entrenching these pat patriarchal and miso misogynistic thoughts where uh, men feel that uh, they are a superior being uh, than their counterparts. And it starts by us going uh, as men, challenging one another, talking yeah. to each other, and even more going down to the next generation. Mm, indeed. And going down there and speaking to, each, uh, to the, our young boys uh, at schools, uh, and those are programs that uh, we are currently running. Yeah, you make mention of culture, religion, and patriarchy, of course. And my guest yesterday from the presidency uh, working on the steering committee looking into gender-based violence was basically saying that it would be interesting to hear what conversations men are having around women. Maybe that mm. should be the point of departure to understand what you guys are talking about when you refer to women. What conversations are you having around women? Mm. That is true, and uh, you will be shocked to hear some of the things that men say uh, about women, uh, about women's uh, bodies, about women's uh, uh, thoughts, about women's uh, just being. And uh, we need to have men in those spaces that will challenge that, just like we did with apartheid, where we had white uh, counterparts who were fighting the struggle with us who are it at their home, at their tables, will be able to say that it is wrong for us to call other people uh, the K-word. It is wrong for us to uh, think that other people are lower beings than us. Just exactly that way, the struggle is now on the issue of gender base and, and, and its violence. And understanding that uh, male uh, 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 privilege uh, is something that we have as men and we can use it to change and we need to be the ones that speak to one another forget about telling women that they should uh, you know not move around late they should be dressed in a certain way they should speak a certain way in order not to be raped or abused no we as men need to be the ones that take the responsibility to say i am not going uh, to be an abuser i'm not going to be uh, somebody that uh, beats up my, my partner, my wife, or, 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 and things like that. We need to take that responsibility. And Not In My Name is leading that forefront and doing our best uh, to make sure that, especially our, our, our next generation and the men that we speak to on a daily basis, uh, become the men that we, 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 we want South African men to be. All right, Temba, we'll leave it at this for today, but thank you so much for coming through. This will be a conversation for another day. We need to continue to have such discussions. Uh, Temba Masango is uh, the Secretary General of the hashtag Not In My Name campaign, He's joining us now live from our studios in Pretoria. We continue, of course, to have this discussion on the scourge of gender-based violence and what needs to happen going forward with many people saying that women have done it all. Now it's up to men to take up this fight.